Dr. Katan, let's talk about uh, warts and actually uh, what's kind of like the difference um, between a normal warts which can appear anywhere in the body as well as a genital warts. Um, I know that you dermatologists deal with this a lot. Can you uh, tell us about it? Sure. Uh, you see there are uh, many different strains of warts, more than 60 different types of warts. Wow. And some, ty some types, yes, of uh, are known to affect different parts of the body and have different uh, appearance and uh, different uh, ramification in the future. The common words, as we know it, are the ones that, uh, especially children, get it on the on the on the, on the fingers, on the hands, on, on 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 the knees, or other parts of the body. These are the most common areas, and the kids get this because the immune system is not as strong yet, and. Uh, and uh, we treat them easily in the office using uh, um, destructive methods such as liquid nitrogen, so it's basically liquefied uh, nitrogen from air. And the temperature is minus 200 degrees centigrade, it's very cold. And what it does is destructs, it destroys the wart. And oftentimes uh, they need to come in more than once to, to get rid of these warts. And, uh, Sometimes you combine that treatment with other things to, to help uh, get rewards faster. There are people who come with hundreds of wards sometimes. Um, these people have some sort of immune deficiency that requires a little bit more aggressive uh, combination of treatments. Then there are genital wards or condyloma. Genital wards are common. They are sexually transmitted, as it implies. Um, and they are important to be to be treated because there is an increased risk of cervical cancer in the female, in ladies. There is also some risk of this cancer in the genitals and on the males, uh, but not as high as it is in, in the females. So um, we do like to first uh, take a biopsy, take a test of this, cut a small piece of the wart send it to laboratory to test it, and we are now able to type these wars, and we know there are certain types of, of wars that are more likely to cause uh, cervical cancer. And if that's the case, then we be on the alert, and we can um, let the other partner know about it and, 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 and sort of be on the looks for it. And... Uh, Anyway, the treatment is, again, uh, done in the office and at home. We find the combination treatment is more effective. Uh, there are creams now that can be applied at home, and then we do the treatment in the office. Most commonly we use uh, cryosurgery, liquid nitrogen, as I mentioned, for the common wards. Uh, sometimes we do use uh, lasers. Uh, but uh, we tell the patients that need to be treated, uh, and it takes some time. You have to be patient with it. You need to come in every few weeks for the treatment. Um, and we, we tell them about protection of partners and also to, to communicate with partners that they have been found to have these wars and they should, the partners should be checked out and make sure they don't have it. And if they have it, they should be treated. Okay. Um, then you want to say? Yes, there is another kind of, uh, it's not a word, it's called molluscum. Molluscum uh, is another viral infection that's common in children also, and it comes from skin-to-skin -skin contact. And that is also easily treated in the office. Um, our colleagues, the pediatricians, a lot of times advise the patient not treat treat them because in about, you know, time, sometimes they're going to disappear. Yes, it's true. They disappear in about two years or so, but in the meantime, they do tend to spread to the, to the same person or to family members, to other children in the family, and they oftentimes become itchy, or really, and the person scratches it and gets it infected. And then that's when they come to us with abscesses and boils and things like that, and we have to, um, to worry about that and to treat it. So... We, as dermatologists in general, advise the patient to treat molluscum. Uh, 
because it is a contagious uh, uh, disease. And uh, it's easily treated in the office, uh, the different methods. Again, liquid nitrogen is used by some... How, how, does, a mom, uh, so, sorry, how, how does a mom notice of uh, what... Uh, What, what, what to look for because the name is you know I don't know you know maybe it's a very common name I surely don't um, I never heard of it but how does a mom kind of go well wait a minute this is something we need to treat what does it look like um, how, how, how does it look it looks like a little how to tell it it's described it looks like a little bubble and it's the center of it is a little bit oftentimes it's depressed in the center it's small about uh, a couple of millimeters Um, oftentimes one to three to four millimeters in size and they often could be in clusters it could be a few or it could be hundreds of them it can be on, on the arm, on the body, on, on the chest, abdomen, back, face, hands it could be anywhere basically okay uh, and now this same molestum if it's found in adults Uh, is something that has to be checked out a little bit more carefully because there is a possibility of it being a sexually transmitted STD uh, problem. And um, especially if it's in near the private areas or in on the private areas, uh, we, uh, we advise the patients to have other tests for the STDs and to be checked out and make sure that nothing else is going on. And so to The partners have to be checked out, make sure there's nothing else is, is going on. Well, all right. Um, anything else about warts, genital warts, um, and or did we cover that all? Oh, uh, well, that's basically it. I mean, the treatments are, are time-consuming, but they're effective for the most part. What's time-consuming mean? What's I mean, time-consuming? It, 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 it's It takes the patients a few weeks, few months to get rid of, and they have to be persistent with it. They shouldn't give up. Okay. And uh, the patient, in those few weeks or few months, most of it is homework for him to or her to do. Um, and for her to do, if it's homework to do, it's like it's taking care of it at home. Right. And homework to do at home, and to come to the office every couple of weeks. I see. In office treatments. Sure. I got it. Well, all right. Thank you very much, Dr. Katan.